Hello and welcome. You're watching We the People. I'm Rishika Barwa. Without a debate and amid the chaos, the Lok Sabha on the 26th of July has passed the Forest Conservation Amendment Bill 2023. Environmentalists have demanded, well, nothing short of a rollback. They say that this is a bill that will finish our forests, be disastrous for forest resources and hit livelihood of millions, mostly tribals. The government obviously disagrees. Balancing industrial development versus the conservation of forests has been an age-old challenge. But with greater industrialization, inevitably, greater parcels of our forest land will be sacrificed. Experts say that the Forest Conservation Act of 1980 has done a reasonably good job to help the state to check and regulate this and also impose appropriate costs on industrial exploitation. So what is this new bill? Why is it so controversial? And most importantly, why should you care about it? The new bill seeks to amend the 1980 Act. Now, the construction of highways, Heidel Power projects and other such developmental projects in geographically sensitive areas within a hundred kilometer of the international border or the line of control or the line of actual control will no longer require forest clearance. The bill also proposes the reclassification of our forests. So essentially, uh, it will apply only to forest lands that are notified under the Indian Forest Act or recorded as forests in government records. So forest land that falls within the dictionary meaning of a forest but are not officially recognized in any government record will now be excluded from protection. Further, no permission will be needed from indigenous people and village councils to carry out development work in these forest areas. So what are the objections? Well, environmentalists argue that this will threaten India's forest cover, most simply put. Hill states like Himachal, Uttarakhand, Jammu and Kashmir, most recently ravaged by floods, will be further threatened by this ecological imbalance. There are entire states, remember, that fall within the 100 km radius of an international border. The, almost the entire forests of Tripura, Mizoram, Nagaland, Sikkim, Meghalaya stand exposed. Further, experts also say that taking away protection from vast tracts of so-called deemed forests, which are not officially recorded as forests, and permitting activities like ecotourism and safaris, etc., is going to completely compromise them. Environmentalists further have said that this is a dilution of the Supreme Court's 1996 judgment, a case where they extended protection to white tracts of forest, even if they were not recorded in the government records. Now, government data shows that India's forest cover, and this is very interesting, has actually risen from 2001 to 2021. But critics argue that dense forest has actually decreased during that period and natural ecosystems cannot compare with commercial plantations. And once these natural ecosystems, these dense forests are destroyed, they're going to be extremely hard to restore. Now, just to put this entire story in context for our viewers, India is far from the target of 33% forest cover. Currently, there is 20 24.6% of our geographical area, which is forest, and 21% land area has a forest cover. But only 12.37% is intact natural forest. This is the government's own data. Further, like there are objections to many such things, there have also been several objections to the manner in which expert recommendations were ignored and all clauses that were proposed by the central government on this bill were cleared despite the fact that there was dissent by four opposition MPs who were part of the joint parliamentary committee that was constituted to look at the other side, to look at what the environmentalists have to say. There are also over a hundred ex-civil servants who've written to the minister to roll this bill back. They've raised a whole host of objections with this, uh, with the provisions of this bill, the ambiguity around it and the manner in which it has seen the light of day. Now, remember, it's inevitable. The bill has been passed in the Lok Sabha. It will soon see the light of day after it is cleared in the Rajya Sabha. On We the People tonight, we ask, is this the law that we need to battle the climate change challenge?